Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. And we are uh, doing our whipping chat for this week. Today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday morning. I got up early today. I feel good and I wanna get some stuff done. So anyway, welcome back to this week's whipping chat. Grab whatever you're working on and work along with me. Grab you some coffee, 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 or tea, juice, uh, whatever it is your preferred beverage is while you diamond paint or knit, crochet, all of that jazz. So, still working on Mother Earth by Hannah Lind from Diamond Art Club. Um, Here's Mother Earth's belly. How pretty is that? It's beautiful. Uh, I'm using, um, it's a little 60 case of these little bottles for storage. I'm loving that thing. Um, I'm using this uh, pretty purple and teal drill pin from Enablers Outpost. And um, I'm also using this tray from Muni Made uh, on Etsy. Um, everything will be linked in the description box for your clicking pleasure. Okay, let's get started. Let me grab a release paper. I like to lay down a release paper. Oh, I guess I should move you into the vicinity of where I am working, right? So I'm working on this section right here. And what I was saying is I like to lay down a release paper to set my tray on while I diamond paint and then kind of move it around as I need to so that uh, my tray don't stick to the canvas. That's the worst. All right gonna lay down some 310 and work on um, what I usually do when I start a new section is um, especially with Hannah Lynn's or Mandy Manzano's I like to do all of the like black 310 first that's how I roll so this is a round diamond painting I love it Love it, love it, love it. Got a dog hair on my canvas. Don't you just love that? Boy, drink some coffee, coffee, coffee. Ah, so yummy. Okay, so. Uh, first thing I wanted to chit chat about today is um, this weird, so you know how you like, you get the little notification from your bank that says that your card has been like used fraudulently, we're canceling your card, please come to the bank, basically the local branch to get a new card, um, got to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. Um, but, so that's what happened. My husband messaged me and he's like, so, um, apparently someone tried to use our card to purchase something in Australia. So, I, the card has been canceled and, um, I have to go to the bank and get like a temporary one until my, the actual one comes in, you know? I'm like, oh, okay. Well, when he said fraudulent and a purchase from Australia, <laughs> my first thought was, oh, did I buy something from Australia? I mean, you know, it's very possible. Now, two or three years ago, a couple of years ago now, probably wouldn't have bought anything from Australia. But being a diamond painter or a crafter in today's time, it's very um, 
possible that I purchased something from Australia, right? Well, when he said that, I instantly was like, uh-oh. And I started thinking, and I'm like, mm, no, I haven't bought anything. So, he, uh, I didn't say anything to him, you know. If I had have purchased something, obviously, I would have been like, no, it was me. It was me. I did buy something. <laughs> uh, but it was not me. And so our bank card was replaced. But I had forgot that there was an issue with the bank card. And... I've gotten into the habit of when I'm shopping on Amazon, instead of like adding it to the cart, I just do the buy now thing and then, you know, do the little slotty thing and poof, you got an email saying your purchase is on the way, blah, blah, blah. I love that feature on Amazon. Um, and I did that with something, it was like a facial moisturizer or something or other. And, um, then he got an email or a text and then I got an email, uh, saying that the payment had been declined or whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> that bank card is no longer associated with my Amazon account. So had to fix that. And now my face stuff is on the way again. Um, there was a purchase I was going to make from Dreamer Designs. And I had to wait to um, change my um, bank or card information on their website. So, yeah, it's always a pain because you have it like conveniently saved on all, you know, these different websites, which I know not particularly the safest thing to do, but, um, for convenience sake, you know, I'm all about convenience, right? And so now I'm going to have to go through and, you know, change that information at these different websites, like Diamond Art Club and yada, yada, yada. That's always so much fun. Not. If you hear little doggy snores in the background, both of my girl doggies are in here with me in the living room, napping in the sunshine that's coming through the windows. You know how they like to sun in the windows? It cracks me up. Or like in the, Poppy is actually in the window and my other one, Pepper, is laying down here on the floor on a blanket in a ray of sunshine. And they're both like, ah. Could this be any more perfect? <laughs> the life of a dog, right? I remember when I was little and I would be getting like up and ready for school early. And um, we didn't have a dog in the house, but we had a cat in the house. And which I'm allergic to cats. And so that was always fun when I was younger. That's how we found out I was allergic to cats. But anyway, I would be getting ready for school. And I'm like, God, I'm so tired. I just want to go back to bed. I don't want to go to school today. And I would like walk through the house, like to leave to go get on the bus or whatever. And I would see that cat, like, just lounging, you know, all comfy, comfy. And I'm like, God, I wish I was a cat. 
Why do I have to be a human and get up early and go do things? Mm. Don't we all wish we were just a cat or a dog at some point in our lives? Ah, uh, oh well. So, the husband got himself a new mower. He's excited. There's nothing like a man, right? Well, and I'm sure that there are some women out there that are like that, too. I'm not, like, into mowing. I don't mind it. I just get nervous. Um around, like, trying to mow, like, around the house or around objects, you know? <laughs> I mean, give me a big, giant piece of flat ground with nothing on it, and I'll just go to town. But whenever, um, and I used to do that because we have a big field that we mow, and I used to mow that part, and then my husband would mow the rest, you know? And eventually, you know, he does all the mowing. And I offer to mow every once in a while when he's like, oh, I don't want to mow the yard today. And I'm always like, I'll go out and mow the field. And he's like, nah. I'm like, okay. Don't say I didn't offer. Um, but he uh, got a new mower because we've had... Let me think. Uh, 14 minus. We have around 10 ish acres. A lot of it is wooded. Um, but I'd say probably two to three acres is what we actually like live on and mow. And, um, We've always had just a plain, you know, riding lawnmower. Um, and they tear up and then he has to get, you know, we've got like two or three mowers um, that he has for like backups because, you know, sometimes whenever you have to fix a lawnmower, it's quite expensive and you might, we might not like have the, the funds to fix it, uh, depending on the price. And so then we can't very well go two or three weeks without mowing the yard, you know, and that's not a thing. So anyway, through the years, he's ended up with two or three lawn mowers that he has as backups and, or like, some that he can, like, pull parts from to fix the, another one, blah, 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 blah. Well, he works with a guy who, like, on his, you know, off time, he does, like, um, lawnmower repair. And um, the guy and his father-in-law, I think. But anyway, um, he's the one that usually fixes one of our lawnmowers if it breaks. And he told Dale, he's like, I've got this one mower because Dale's been wanting a zero turn for a really long time. However, we were never interested in, like, paying the high price for one because they're outrageous. And he's wanted one because it would cut down the amount of time that it takes him to mow, you know? And, uh, cause he spends, whenever he gets out to mow, it's like an all day thing, you know? And, um, so he'd been wanting like a zero turn for forever and just never was like in the position to be able to afford one. And anyway... The guy calls him and he's like, so, well, I think he told him at work, but he's like, he, he told him he had a mower that he wanted to bring out and let Dale try. And Dale was explaining it to me. He's like, it's a zero turn without being a zero turn, if that makes any sense. And I'm like, no, not really. That don't make 
a lick of sense. What do you mean it's a zero turn without being a zero turn? And he's like, well, it was like a zero turn before actual zero turns came out. And I was still like, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay, whatever. I mean, let's see this thing when the guy brings it out, you know. So I brought it out the other day. And I see what Dale means now, being a zero turn without being a zero turn. <laughs> so, you know, you see these zero turns and, uh, but when the guy brought this thing out, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the front of it, like instead of you sitting over top of the deck, the lawnmower deck, it, the lawnmower deck is actually out in front of you. And you're behind, sitting behind the lawnmower deck on a wheel. Like the, the, the seat is on a wheel. And it's separate from the lawnmower deck part. I don't know what it's called. Um, I can't remember the name brand or the name of it. I think it's something like a bunt or something like that. Something weird. I don't know. But um, but basically, it spins like on a dime, just like a zero turn does. So, you know, that's good. Cuts down time, all that. And the mower deck, the lawnmower deck is like two or three times bigger than what we normally have, you know, or the size of our the lawnmower deck on our other mower. And so he brought it out for Dale to try for a couple of days. So Dale played on it, you know, and did this and that. And he's like, it's kind of hard to get used to driving. I'm like, well, I can imagine it would be. Um, it's old. It's an old machine, but it runs really well. You know what I mean? It's not like some new bright shiny thing it's like no it looks ancient um but it cut really really good and Dale was able to cut it fast and um so anyway he ended up making a deal with him and traded some things and so now Dale has a new mower well, new to us, but definitely not new, so to speak. <laughs> it's definitely not new, but as long as it does the job and it does it in like a third of the time, then I'm all for it. Because there's nothing worse than, you know, he works a full-time job with overtime sometimes. He gets home in the afternoon or the evening and by the time, you know, if he decides to mow through the week, then by the time he gets in, it's like after dark and we have really late dinners. He don't get to spend as much time with the kids in the summer because he spends a lot more time outside taking care of the yard and all the stuff that needs to be done. Um, or you know, if he chooses to wait and do it on the weekend, then that's a whole, like, Saturday or Sunday basically gone, you know, so. I'm excited that he'll get it done a whole lot quicker. That makes me happy. And speaking of mowing, this is ridiculous, but I saw my sister had posted something yesterday. She sent me a text, and I had heard early on, like two, three or four days ago, that we were supposed to get snow. And I was telling Abigail about it. I'm like, here, we've had all these, like, nice 70-degree weather days, sun shining, sitting outside off and on all day, just enjoying the weather, you know, and then snow. And she's like, no way. I'm like, yes way. So, uh, my sister texted me yesterday and she's like, we're supposed to get one to two inches. And I'm like, what? Sure enough, 
I looked at the weather, our local weather channel, and yep, one to two inches in our area starting tonight or in the morning. And literally right now the sun is shining and it is like mid 60s. It's supposed to get up to the low 70s today. And then tonight, boom, cold front and snow. And however, it's supposed to like warm up quick in the morning in the morning. So whatever snow does fall will probably melt away pretty quick, which is fine with me. But yeah, we never get snow this late in April. Never. I mean we have before, but not it's very uncommon. I mean, people are already planting things, you know? And it's just like, wow. Wowzers. So that's no fun. However, I will probably, uh, I mean, watching snow, like, makes me happy anyway. I love to watch it when it snows. It's pretty. Um, but... So it'll be cool to watch it, but it'll also be cool to watch it melt away. <laughs> Ugh. I know certain places, you know, like North Dakota and places get snow way later in the season, but man. I'm trying to see how far down that plastic is is it's hard to tell with that clear plastic but um oh pepper was trying to wake up a little bit or not pepper but poppy She's kind of calmed down on her. Remember what I was telling you guys, was it last week or the week before? That she was carrying that toy all over the place and whining and acting weird. She's kind of quit. She's not doing that anymore. Um, but I really do feel like it was the whole, uh, whatever you call that, like false pregnancy or whatever. Um, I do kind of feel like that's what it was. Okay, got that part of the... Okay, good. Got that part of the 310 done, and I'll scooch on over a little bit more. Shake this out some more. Okay, now, um, I did also, I had mentioned, I think, last week about that whole, uh, uh, what do you call it, course, the decluttering, uh, course that I got, uh, the same chick that uh, my niece had bought me for Christmas, that course for the No More hot mess express mom thing you know which is super cool um but yeah the decluttering thing I started that and um I got my bathroom decluttered and that felt amazing she says to start in the bathroom because it's like the least sentimental items you're going to come across in your decluttering process you know which you know, she's like, don't start in a closet where you got, like, family photos and mementos or whatever. Or don't start, like, in your kids' closet, like, trying to get rid of baby clothes or whatever. She said that's, those are the worst sort of places to start because they're sentimental things, you know. She says instead, start in the bathroom where it's just you know, 
hair and makeup stuff and body wash kind of things, you know, where there's no sentimental value at all. So that's what I did. And I have a small, like my bathroom isn't huge. So my counter is just a single sink counter. I wish we had like the his and hers, like the big giant bathroom counter, but no, we don't. So um, it has, you know, the, it's the normal ordinary like cabinets under the sink and then three drawers, right? Well, I had stuff on top of the counter. Hold on, let me grab a drink of coffee. My throat's getting froggy. Um, but I had pulled everything out on top of the counter and in the floor and made piles of, you know, this, that, and the other, and um, wound up getting rid of um, an entire bag of trash, just crap that was expired or stuff that we didn't use anymore or you know, why is it we hang on to that kind of stuff that we're like, I'll use this eventually, and then a year later, you still haven't used it, and it's still under your bathroom counter? <laughs> why do we do that? So, I got rid of a bunch of that kind of stuff, and got rid of a bunch of old makeup that was outdated, or stuff that I just didn't use you know, and, um, <laughs> the chick that teaches the course, she's like, life is too, um, short to wear, um, outdated. I'm getting ready to sneeze again, guys. <coughs> oh, goodness gracious. <sighs> Man. Okay. Um, I take my allergy medicine every night before I go to bed. <laughs> and I am wake up and I'm like a train wreck with my allergies. Ugh. Hello, spring. <laughs> but anyway, she's like, life is too short to wear outdated makeup. She's like, love yourself more than allowing yourself to wear expired makeup. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got rid of a whole trash bag uh, full of junk. Well, I say trash bag. I don't mean a trash bag. I mean like a Walmart bag. So, I got rid of an entire Walmart bag full of junk from the bathroom counter um, under the sink and in the drawer, the three little drawers. Um, and I was very selective, you know, with what I kept. So, that felt nice to be able to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And when I say the Walmart bag full, I mean it was full. Like, it was so full that I couldn't even, like, close it up and like tie it together with the handle, you know, I could have actually filled two bags with what was in that one bag. But anyway, um, I was being lazy and didn't want to get up and go get another Walmart bag. So I just kept piling into that bag and smashing and smushing <laughs> as much as I could. <laughs> it was fun to do too, because I had my headphones on um, I, for whatever reason, cannot wear earbuds. I cannot do it. I've even bought some that are like, have the smaller little things that go in your ears. Like for kids. And then I bought another set that had like three or four different sizes. And that didn't work either. I don't know. My ears just not be normally shaped or something. And I can't get them to stay in. And so, oops. 
I bought a set of headphones a while back. These, I love these things. They're awesome. Um, they're Bluetooth and I love them. And I have them charging right now. Plug it back in. But I had that thing on and was like jamming to some music while I was um, cleaning out the bathroom and getting rid of stuff. I have another cabinet in my bathroom that I still need to go through. It's more of a, it's a little like primitive style cabinet that my husband built me years ago for my birthday or Christmas or anniversary. I don't remember which. And Um, yeah, it's full of some stuff, too, that I need to kind of go through and get rid of. So, I would like to do that today. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to tackle is my laundry. Like, my go through and get rid of a bunch of junk that don't fit, that I don't wear, that I don't like. Um... And donate some clothes um, or send some of the stuff to my niece. Um, so, that's kind of what I want to do very soon. So, have you guys started like decluttering or spring cleaning yet? I'm like in the mood. Makes me happy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't like to clean. But just the whole like spring is here. And I can throw open the windows. And let that fresh air, air in. It just feels amazing. And, you know, I kind of have to like do that now. Because... In another, I don't know, couple of months, uh, you know, when June hits, it's going to be too warm to be able to raise the windows up, so. And I enjoy putting the windows up, and even though it's allergy season for us, ugh. I still love it. I used to love to be able to sleep with the windows open at night. But, oh my God, I would do that. And I would wake up so sick the next morning. Like, nuffed up. Like, stuffed up. And, ugh. And I can't really do that now anyways. Because our bedroom faces, like, our neighbor... And they're like loud and obnoxious people. Like, it don't matter the time of day. The guy was working on, like, trying to replace the shocks on his car for the last two or three days. And when I'm telling you that he was beating and banging on his car at midnight, that's what I mean. I mean, beating and banging the crap out of his car at midnight and Dale was like the next day he was like does that guy know that there's much easier ways to do that <laughs> other than beating it to death I'm like I don't know I don't know but yeah I mean thank goodness that we have like a sound machine in our room and a baby monitor and two fans that are going um, a TV playing in the background to like kind of like mute out all of the noise from next door but ugh. if we were to raise our windows to let fresh air in at night then yeah we would hear all of that and that's just annoying. Plus, he's got dogs and his dogs will randomly just like, that can see a rabbit and like, 
bark their full heads off for 10 minutes. So that is annoying, but neighbors, neighbors, neighbors. Anybody else have an annoying neighbor? Leave me a comment and tell me how your neighbor is annoying to you. I'm super excited today. This is totally off topic, I know. But I'm super excited today because I get, um, I'm expecting a package from uh, Marisa's, my sister and brother-in-law had bought me forever ago a gift card to Marisa's for Christmas. If you're not familiar with Marisa's, it's just a women's like clothing store. And I really like them a lot. And uh, so, yeah, I spent my gift card the other day and so I'm waiting on the stuff to come in the mail. Here I am talking about getting rid and decluttering clothes and I've got some coming. But the thing is, I knew that I was gonna do this and so I knew I was gonna be getting rid of a crap ton of clothes and I needed some new ones to kind of replace the old ones because I'll wear the new ones and I'm not wearing the old ones. Truth of the matter is I've gained weight, y'all. No judge, no judgment, no judgment. I know y'all in the same boat I am and if you try to say you ain't, you lying to me that you haven't gained any COVID weight but if you haven't gained or if you have lost, congratulations to you. So I'm trying to uh, at least get some clothes that um, aren't just like completely loungewear clothes because I feel like that's all I wear anymore. And um, I needed some new jeans and that kind of stuff, so yeah. So I'm excited, but I'll also be really bummed if when it gets here, nothing looks good on me or fits me. I don't particularly like to buy clothes online. I'm more of a have to try it on to see what it looks like before I buy it kind of girl. I'm just shaped weird, you know what I mean? Like some things look really good on people and then I put it on and it just looks like a potato sack, like a, like, yeah, a potato sack or flower sack, or, you know, it just don't look good on me at all. You know those cute little peasant tops? No, 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 no. And some of those that are like, have that like pretty little seam like under the boobage area. So it like shows off your boobages. If I try something like that on, it makes me, it looks like a maternity top because I'm chunky. <laughs> I'm like Bev's chunky pins. I'm not, I'm not chunky, I'm chunky. Oh well. So, but we're working on that too. We're working on that. My plan is to lose a bunch of weight so that in a couple of months, I won't even be able to wear the brand new clothes I'm getting. <laughs> that would be my luck, right? Oh, well. If that's the case, then that's the case. I'll just buy new clothes. Whatever, man. Whatever. Um, but I do need to lose the weight. And probably wasn't the best time to go buy some new clothes when I'm getting ready to plan on losing weight, but it had to be done. It had to be done. I had to buy new clothes because I just kind of got into a um, little bit of a, you know, situation now where I keep reaching for the same outfits or clothing over and over and over because those are the things that fit me okay that I feel comfortable in 
and that look okay on me, you know. So, everything else is just going to have to go. Okay, so, kiddo got up, had to take care of him. Jolie's still sleeping. She's my late sleeper. Um, but, Mr. Mister got up. He had to have his allergy medicine. His allergies are kicking his butt, too. Uh, so, um, had to have his allergy medicine. Gave him a little bit of, uh, breakfast and uh yeah so i don't remember what i was speaking about what was i talking about guys i don't remember <laughs> uh, i have a little bit more coffee 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 left i'm gonna have to get me another cup oh, i was uh marking things off on my calendar and um uh, or on my planner. So, um, I have found that, so earlier this, well, not this year, but last year, when I started talking about planner stuff here on my channel, I had did a, like, happy planner haul unboxing. And I got, like, the, a planner, um, the classic happy planner, and I got some sticker packs and all of the things right well but prior to that I had purchased and you guys might remember this let me show you I had purchased this planner it says make your dream happen it's got the cute little llamas on the front I remember when I unboxed this I laughed because I was like these look like if that had a fifth leaf <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ha, ha, ha. Uh, talk about making dreams happen, right? But anyway, I bought that early on. And then I was like, I saw the Happy Planner stuff. And then I was like, and I found like a Happy Planner, which I got this one. Um, a while after I bought the first one, this one. And um, I found it like deeply discounted. I don't remember how much it was, but it was like way cheap. So I grabbed it and some sticker packs and I was like, okay, I'm going to use this happy planner. You know, everybody's using and loving this happy planner. And I ended up setting this one to the side. This one was cheap. It was like 10 bucks maybe. And it's a nice size one. You know, it's like a bigger one. So, uh, yeah, I, sort of set my planner to the side and didn't use it. Months went by, didn't use it, um, found myself just using, you know, note paper and making lists and like I tend to do. And it was like, no matter how hard I tried to use my happy planner, it was like, I just didn't. And, um, I wanted to start doing like playing with me videos and cute layouts and stuff like that, you know, but, um, and maybe it's because I don't like that this one has, and I considered this, I'll show you real quick and see what you guys think. Yureli, if you're watching this, let me know your opinion. Um, Let's go to April. So, first of all, I don't like this part of it. See how it's like, it's, and I took a bunch out. It's not that thick. You can see that's not very thick. Um, I took a bunch out from the previous um, months, like a bunch, a bunch. Here, I pulled them all out. So, you can see I pulled that much out of it. Um so that it would be easier, you know, but it's like, it still gets like hung up when I'm, I mean, it's not as smooth as I would like. See like right there, it's kind of like hung up and that gets on my nerves. Um, but like here's April. Okay. I didn't, I haven't touched it. Um, this is the monthly spread and then the weekly is the vertical, the vertical layout. Okay. And I don't know if that is what I don't like about it. 
um, or what it is. But with this one, it has the um, horizontal layout, I guess is what you would call that. And it's got these little to-do checks and, you know, section on both sides. And I just like this better. And I've been using this one more. It's like more user-friendly for my brain. And um, I did, uh, you know, pretty it up with some stickers and um, just kind of hoping that, yeah. I don't know, I've just been sticking with this one. And I don't know if I would like the horizontal planner, the happy planner, or not. Um, if it's just as good as this one, I need, to, I need to look and see, you know? But I still don't like how the pages turn in this. Um, I know that these uh, coils or whatever this is called, the discs, are these are plastic. And I know they sell metal ones. So I don't know if the metal ones are smoother or not. But yeah, I'm just not uh, caring for, for it. So I've not been using it. And I've just been decorating and using the original one that I got, my cheapy one. And so that's kind of where I'm at with my planner, but I have been like really sticking to my weekly um, planner lists and stuff like that. I don't know, I've just been having a lot better luck with that. But anyway, that's kind of where um, I need some guidance from other planner people what your thoughts are as far as vertical versus horizontal. Um, but then also those of you that use the Happy Planner, do you find that the metal discs are easier to slide the pages, to flip the pages versus the plastic discs? So, if you know, leave me a comment. Last thing I wanted to mention, um, before I get off here, I'm planning to start a new series, um, which for all of you veteran diamond painters, this is kind of not going to be something that you would find useful. Um, however, a while back, well, I got my niece, one of my nieces, a diamond painting for Christmas. The same niece that bought me the Hot Mom Express or No More Hot Mom Express um, course. I got, gave her a diamond painting and she still hasn't done the diamond painting. Here it is April, which, you know, <laughs> she's never diamond painted before. And I just thought that it would be, you know, um, she is crafty though. She likes to craft and do things. So, um, she's very artistic and, um, so I thought that she might enjoy it. But anyway, she had messaged me one day and she's like, I got ready to do that diamond painting. And she's like, but I just really kind of like didn't know what to do. She said, I, I think I need to get on YouTube and like watch some videos. And we haven't really talked much about me having a diamond painting channel. I think she knows, but I don't know if she like, thinks that I just every once in a while post, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like maybe the only videos she's seen is of me actually diamond painting or unboxing, but she's like, she literally said, I need to get on YouTube and see if I can, you know, and don't get me wrong. I know there are people out there who have already done like how to diamond paint for beginners or whatever. Uh, but I thought that it would be a cool, um, series to start here because, you know, it's cool to have other people's perspectives on diamond painting, like how they do it versus how someone else does it. And, um, 
different things that they use, different tips and tricks that they have that they like to use. So, yeah, my niece kind of sparked that in me. And I was like, well, maybe I'll start like a beginner diamond painting for beginners series. And so, like I said, you veteran diamond painters out there are going to be like, meh, I don't really need to see those kind of videos because I've been diamond painting for forever now. Um, but I thought that it would be a neat little thing to add, um, for some new people who haven't yet diamond painted, you know, and may land here on the channel and, um, fall in love with diamond painting just like we have, you know, I think that would be kind of nifty. So that is one of my plans to do. I have a few little other ideas um, for different things. Um, just kind of got to get my creative gears in motion, I guess. So, but anyway, I hope that you guys are having a great Tuesday so far. Um, It's been a great morning here already. I've had my first cup of coffee. One kiddo is up and rearing for the day. Um, the sun is shining, however. Snow, snow, snow. For tonight, we are getting snow so weird for the end of April. Well, I mean, it's like, what, the 20th of April? That's just so weird. I mean, we're already mowing the yard and stuff, you know? Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, guys. That is all I got for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this whip and chat. Uh, make sure to give the video a thumbs up before you head out the door. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Ding, ding, ding to get notified the next time I upload another video. And uh, like I said, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great rest of the week. And I will see you guys later. Bye.